This is a very short video just to show how to balance a three bladed prop. I've done another video that actually talks about this for two bladed props and particularly the challenges that you can sometimes have balancing the hub in the middle of a two bladed prop which can cause vibration in a model that gives you that jello effect for FPV or filming. Three bladed props I actually uh, prefer to balance than two bladed and the reason I'm doing these is because I needed a 10 by 6 prop for one of my bigger hex copters and I can only get 10 by 6 in this um, style. So let's talk about what we're going to need to balance these. Um, here's my homemade balancer. It actually takes um, this thing, you might have one of these yourself, just um, one of the ones that uh, has two cones that go onto it on a um, threaded rod. And I've made this thing here that holds the threaded rod in the middle of um, a couple of neodymium magnets, made it using a bit of hardboard, a bit of um, cardboard at the bottom and two bits of um, balsa. And we need that just because um, you need to be able to swing this thing around to be able to set it. We obviously, we're gonna need the prop itself. Other things we're gonna need, Sharpie that will show up on the color prop that you're using is always handy and some tape, some scissors, and the spacer for the middle of the prop. So let me put the spacer in the middle because you should always balance with the spacer in it. Okay, and now what we'll do is we'll actually just mount this in and I'll show you my method. So here we are, we've actually mounted the um, blade onto the balancer. I always put when I can the two cones in the middle just to make sure that it's as centered as it can be. Pop it into the balancer and what you'll find with any three bladed prop is that one prop will be the heaviest, there'll be one that's the lightest and one that's in between and in this one it's always, well you can see for yourself really, the one that's the heaviest will be the lowest which is him, he's the lightest and he's the one that's in between and the easiest way to do it is to make these two blades the same weight. So what I tend to do just before I start, so I don't lose track of everything, is I put a little mark on that one, like three dots on the number three. I put a number one or one dot at the back of the lightest and two dots or number two on the back of the middle one. And that just means I can keep track of it. So let me just do that and then we'll come back and we'll start to balance. So the first job then is to get this so that the middle blade is vertical. Now it's nearly doing that on its own, but we can see when it settles that the, what's happening is one of the blades is fractionally lower than the other, which means that out of these two lower blades, turn around, this is why it's always worthwhile just keeping track of everything. That one's the heaviest, that one is fractionally lighter. So what we're gonna do is gonna add a little bit of tape here and then hopefully it will settle with that um, blade right up in the air. So let me add a very little bit of tape and we'll come back and have a look. So here we are on the back, here's blade two. We've put a very, very small piece of tape on, hope you can see that. And now when we put it on the balancer, it's pretty much spot on. That blade is straight up in the air. Now, the next thing we need to do is make this blade the same as the other two so that when we have it in this orientation with either of the other blades up, it stays in the air and you can see that that lighter blade is rising to the top every time. So what I'm gonna do is on the one that's got the uh, number one on it, I'm gonna add a bit of tape so that we can um, get this working. So let me do that and then we'll have a look, final look at the blade and what it should look like when it's all balanced. So now what we've done is on that number one blade, we've now put a final bit of tape. And to prove that it's balanced, a way to check it is to put each blade vertically in turn and just make sure that the blade will stay like that. So that's good. That's not bad. That's okay. Interestingly, that blade there is not quite 
that blade is fractionally too heavy it's pulling it over so that is blade one that I've just done let me take a tiny bit of tape off and we'll do one final check okay here we are back just taking a very small amount of um, tape off it I must admit I love these exacto knives I, I used to wonder what our American friends were banging on about on YouTube but having now got a couple myself I uh, couldn't live without them right so here is the uh, blade so it sits with that blade on the top it sits with that blade on the top and it now sits with that blade on the top so that is now balanced it's ready to go on the model I only have another five to do. Thanks for watching. Hope that's useful for those of you who are wor worried about or thinking about balancing some of these. Um, and uh, if you'd like to know more about how I made this space, it's pretty straightforward. If you uh, want to get in touch, I can kind of take you through it. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe and comment. Happy flying.